Hi, world history students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have got your notes for Chapter 4, Section 1, Early India. And number one, the three geographic zones of India are the high mountains in the north, would be your Himalayas, the fertile northern plains, which is that area just south of the Himalayas, and in the way south, the Deccan Plateau. Number two, monsoons helped the people of early India because the winds brought in rains and the rains flooded the rivers, which deposited fertile silt for our farmers to plant their crops in. Farmers in ancient India would expect heavy rains to come during the summer months. In the, the Indus Valley civilization cities were planned settlements that were laid out on a system of grids with major avenues that were twice as wide as minor streets. Uh, below here, we have a kind of a satellite image of one of the old Indus Valley civilizations. And you can kind of see where my cursor is running. That would be like a major avenue. And then our side streets here, these would be much narrower, okay, than the main avenues. Needless to say, um, public drainage systems and a citadel, which I'm moving my cursor over right now in this picture on the far right hand side, would also be included. Citadel would be a fortification where uh, you would allow your troops to have kind of a, a good uh, overview of your your community or your, your land. Uh, so that way, if the enemies are approaching, you would be able to see them coming. And number five, Indus craftsmen made pottery, metalwork, and jewelry. Number six, life in India's Vedic period was a time when the Aryans controlled India. Villages banded together under rajas or kings uh, because times were very dangerous and the rajas offered protection, primarily with their military force. Societies were also divided into four social classes, as you see below. Uh, we have the Dalit, or sometimes known as the caste system. We have the Brahmin, the Kashitras, the Vaishyas, and the Sudras. Uh, and then finally, the worship gods through fire sacrifices and hymns was very common in the Vedic period. The Aryans, which were a group of people from Central Asia, they shared a common linguistic or a language tie to this region of Central Asia. Central Asia would be kind of the land around the Caspian and the Black Sea. Um, over time, uh, what we have found is that there was no evidence of a linguistic, Korean linguistic tie to India before this period of time. And thus, it has led researchers to believe that the Aryans probably migrated out of Central Asia into the subcontinent into India. Number eight, the caste system affected everyday life in India because caste membership was determined or determined uh, possible jobs and marriage partners. Some caste actually had more privileges. As we uh, go along, we're going to find that, you know, the Brahmin, doesn't matter how diligent and hardworking uh, a person is, if you are a Brahmin and at the top of society, uh, you have pretty much all the luck in the world. Uh, you're going to probably have the, the easiest of life. Whereas if, let's say, you're a Sudra, uh, life is going to be much harder. Uh, you're probably going to have to work, uh, maybe doing things that you don't really want to do. And that's part of that, that caste system. Uh, you are going to have to marry within your caste. So if you're a Brahmin, you have to marry someone who is in a the Brahmin caste as well. Same goes with the, the Sudras. Um, even though you might fall in love with somebody who's of a different caste, by law you could not marry them. And number nine, the Vedic religion, people prayed to many aspects of a single external spirit. They worshiped the gods through fire sacrifices and chanting of sacred hymns. Priests would place food and drink in a roaring fire as part of that fire sacrifice uh, to appease the gods. Thank you very much.